Please change the speed to 1.5x. Together, we're watching Stray Kids' Lonely Street. Let's go. Look at that imagery. He's he's grabbing his ankle on a racetrack. Come on, that's great imagery. Alone on a racetrack. Like he's running a race by himself. A race that oh there's no one in the stands. He's running a race that nobody cares about, and he's breaking his own ankle running a race that doesn't matter. I'm guessing. I mean, that's the image. clip is isolation in the box uh, isolated on the racetrack isolated in the stands as a fan every clip is isolation <laughs> Back up, uh, back up before the chorus. My last time walking this way, but don't comfort me, cause I'm still on my way. 
get it? It's like it's like when you're telling someone your problems and they think you're just bitching. It's like no, I'm just telling you what's going on in my life and my journey. It's, and someone's like, "Oh, well, you could fix it by doing X, Y, Z." It's like, no, 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 I didn't tell you because I want to be fixed. I'm just expressing to you what's happening to me on my journey, and I'm sure I'm fucking things up, and I'm sure I gotta fix a lot of things. But the point of this, the back and forth, was just to communicate you ask me how i'm doing or what's going on and i express it um you know it's kind of like when people complain about their co-workers and you're like ah, i quit that job it's like no i don't want to quit the job but just have a problem with susan or karen I'm still on my way. Oh, we got a little after clip. Oh, they're finally all together. They're finally not isolated. Uh, I'm not a fan of ballads in general. Just because they're kind of long and drawn out. So a ballad needs to be strong with a good message i like that i like that i like that i like it very much um i think there was a lot of more imagery going on there that i didn't catch that you know maybe you caught or you'll go back and and watch uh when the dude uh points he takes the gun from his head and he points this at his, at his shadow uh, which could be like a representation of the shadow side or the shadow ether. But also, I don't know, maybe this is crazy, but your shadow follows you around all day. You're always being chased by your shadow. I mean, not always. I guess it depends on the angle of the sun. But you know what I mean? Like, like a, a shadow... Your shadow is a version of you that's always with you. It's not, it's not quite you. It's just a shadow. It's just illumination, right? But, yeah. I like the fact that they were all, while talking about being isolated, they were isolated. But they weren't isolated in the same way. They put them in different environments to be isolated. So, sorry, I don't know. I don't know these dudes' names, uh, but one dude was isolated, standing up in like a really open room. We had the combat boots on and the pants tucked into his his uh, boots, and then we had the isolated dude on the racetrack. And we had an isolated dude sitting in the audience. We had an isolated guy in the box. Right, and we had an isolated guy walking, I think, on a bridge. So, there's different forms of isolation, but that when you're isolated, I think the, all that actually matters is that you're isolated. It doesn't really, I mean, it matters. Oof, oof, things are getting technical. It obviously matters to you personally, to me personally, how I am isolated. 
But when I am talking to someone or I'm bonding about isolation, the key part is that we're isolated. Like maybe you're isolated because you're doing science experiments in Antarctica and someone else is isolated because they work in a room by themselves making videos staring at a camera. It's a feeling of belonging and understanding. And so even though all of us or a lot of us may be isolated physically, emotionally, or whatever, when you talk to someone else who's physically, emotionally isolated now all of a sudden it feels like a group and that you belong because we all are experiencing something similar so I think it's a, I think it's a pretty I'm trying to think of a better word than interesting or cool. I need to fucking uh, work on... I need a thesaurus. Alexa, remind me tomorrow at 5 p.m. thesaurus. I won't do it. Okay. I'll remind but at least she'll remind me. Um, yeah. Right? I mean, isn't that cool art that you can be isolated and listen to a song about isolation and then be like, oh, I'm not so isolated. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my God, let's pull this shit together for a second get a way out of this video like a way out of this you're still isolated you just don't feel as isolated right if if your isolated task isn't over you have to go back to it unless you're quitting so talking to people about being isolated gives you a temporary reprieve from being isolated and then you go back to being isolated but it's not quite as bad at least to me it's not quite as bad because you're like oh no yesterday or two days ago or three days ago I, I was talking to these other people who were also isolated and we're all going through the same shit. And even though you're still back in your lonely ass environment, you don't feel as lonely temporarily. It's kind of like charging up the battery of your soul by going and connecting to other people. Dude, what do I know? I got a stupid fucking hat on. But I'm also in a room with nobody talking to a camera. But I'm attempting to talk to you because I know that when I actually post this video, anyone that's watching it is a person. But I'm not talking to anyone right now. I'm talking to who I hope is there.
I guess for me, it's the, like the magical belief that there are people on the other side of this camera and that we have some shit in common. And so I am not isolated, but I am a hundred fucking thousand percent isolated. I just don't think of it that way. Right, whatever. Fucking world is weird.